American daredevil Nick Willender has become the first man to walk across the Grand Canyon on a tightrope. The extraordinary feat was hard to watch as Nick set off in strong winds without a harness or safety net. Angela Cox was there. Nick Willender has silenced his doubters, becoming the first person to tightrope walk across the Grand Canyon. He did it in just under 20 three minutes those first few steps it did look as though his shoes were slipping on the wire because of dust on the wire but he did make good time he was walking on a wire no thicker than a tennis Praise ball God. 450 awesome. meters off the ground he wasn't wearing a safety harness or a parachute and there was no safety net but he did look pretty comfortable although halfway through the walk he actually knelt down on the wire he later explained that he was trying to balance the wire because it seemed to be bouncing quite a bit he kept walking. He did look as though he had to work for every step. He was praying heavily through the walk. He's a man of deep faith. But he said afterwards that even though he found it very difficult and tiring for the first three quarters of the walk, but the last quarter, the adrenaline kicked in and you even saw him running to the end um, to meet up with his family, his wife and three children who were waiting for him. Have a listen to some of what he said when he got off. You know, it was unbelievable. It was everything that I ever wanted to be. It was extremely emotional. I got to the other side and started crying. It's, you know, it's a dream come true. Of course, the big question is how do you top this? Have a listen to what his next plan is. Well, I, my dream is to walk from the Chrysler Building to the Empire State Building in New York City. Uh, and if not that, between two, two skyscrapers in New York City for sure. A lot of people thought he was crazy. Nick Willander always said he could do it, okay, and he's proved himself right. On the wire.